Good morning, incredible souls. Happy Monday. It's time to get the coffee. And I have a video for you guys that I recorded. I uh, have, I did some shopping and all of, I was on my trip and I wanted to share what I got and my family gave me some things to bring home. And I wanted to show you that too. So enjoy. Here is are some of the items I found at uh, Dollar Tree on my way home from uh, from Kentucky. This, these items came from Nashville, from the Dollar Tree in Nashville. I got some ribbons for card making. I got this one and this one, and I got a lemony one, and I got this uh, one with deer on it. So cute, I hadn't seen these before. Um, and I found these, this is very holiday and wintry. Okay. And this one has a bird on it. I don't know what kind of bird is on that, but I thought that would be a cute border. It's also wintry. So I'm happy to find these. And I got one more bottle of tacky glue. Zakia and I are constantly going through tacky glue. And my sister Leia uh, collects owls. So I found several owl um, um, ornaments at Dollar Tree. I got this one with the burlap body and the furry breast and then I got this one with the furry body and the burlap breast so I thought those were cute and then I got this one also with a furry body and then the plaid breast I thought they were also cute and I'll save them it will probably be a while before I see my sister again but I'm constantly on the lookout for owls for her and now I picked up these, and I'll stash them until I see her again. Okay, Zakia got a few things from the Dollar Tree as well. Um, <clears throat> she got this little head with hair, <laughs> she had a little brush and some little clips and things, and she got this thing with liquidy slime in it. Uh, <laughs> the thing is disgusting to me, but she wanted that. She got this little booklet with travel games and this little pen, glittery pen with multicolors on it. And she wanted this uh, hair donut. And then I got a few things. I got um, the little wooden apples. I guess I can paint them. And I got some bamboo toothbrushes. I was happy to find those. And I'm still missing a bag. I didn't find it yet. There's one more bag somewhere. Uh, some of these items came from Nashville and the other items came from Jackson, Tennessee. Um, and this is a craft picker that um, could work for some crafts. And I got this, uh, this lemony ribbon and this other uh, ribbon that goes with lemons. Zest for life and uh, different things that go with lemons. I thought that was cute. And then I found this beautiful hair tie, hair scrunchie. Um, it is a uh, part of scrunchie, but it had a, a little bit more fancier um, <clears throat> name, and the label was, uh, it said buy scrunchie, and I don't remember what the main word was, but I wish I, my daughter hadn't picked off the label, <laughs> but she did, and when I find the other bag, I will show you what I have in it, but um, those are her things over there. And these are mine. And then 
I got some things for the cat, chicken sauce. Uh, there are some Nine Lives brand um, foods that my cats can eat, and there's one kind that gives one of makes one of them sick on her stomach, so I don't buy that. I just buy this chicken and sauce or something else. But that one with cheese in it, she hates. I mean, she eats it, but she gets sick. So I don't buy that anymore. Just okay. So uh, then I got some Cheeto mac and cheese jalapeno flavor for one the kids to have for a meal. And I got this uh, Mighty... Gastropolis Portland cookbook. I thought that would be fun to uh, check out those recipes. And then I found this other book, Second Avenue Caper. It's kind of like a, a uh, comic or a uh, manga or a graphic novel, whichever you want to call it. And I thought it looked interesting for a buck. Yeah. And I got two more of these Betty Crocker large size containers because I like them. They're very helpful and useful. So just two more of those. Okay, I found this cute little unicorn box in the makeup section at one of the Dollar Trees. I think the one in Nashville had these. And then my daughter put her nail polish collection in there that she got for Christmas. And I think that is such an adorable box for her little nail polishes. When I saw it, I, I thought that would be perfect for her nail polish. And I got a nail file in there. Yeah, there's a nail file in there too. So cute. Yeah. Okay, I found one of these. Some of these hair masks. Nourishing chamomile from Dollar Tree 2. I'm missing two sheets of stickers that I remember buying in uh, Jackson, Tennessee. And I can't find them. I don't know where they are. They got lost. I'll have to see. Look around and see if I can still find them somewhere. But it appears they are gone. They were beautiful. They had orange, different shades of orange poppies. But they're gone. I'm happy I was able to find these. I thought these were lost too, but I found them still in the van. Now, I also have a Ross haul that I got from the Ross in, in Nashville, where I like to stop at on Charlotte Pike. It's a, my favorite rest stop on the way between Kentucky and uh, Memphis. I found this white, uh, off-white, um, ceramic pumpkin for three forty nine. I um, had one. I bought one on the way to Kentucky, and accidentally the kids put it in the car, and then it accidentally fell out and broke. Then on the way back, I got the second, got another one. I was surprised they still had any. <coughs> I was really happy to find another because I really like that little pumpkin. And that is a pretty good price for that little cutie. And on the way to Kentucky, I had bought this. Uh, I, I like it. I've been looking for a uh, cake uh, stand on a pedestal. I don't know if it's going to work for what I want to use it for or not, but I decided to give it a go and see if it'll work or not. Um, it has, uh, 
it was $35, I think. And it is so cute. Pretty. And it has these crystals hanging here. Um, well, this got a little bit tangled here. I'll have to fix it. But I really like it. And I think it's made in India. And I have this other item. First, I have this stainless steel tongs. I'm always crazy about tongs. The tongs I've been using for years don't lock anymore. So I thought I would do a new set. Uh, the big ones I use for frying chicken. They were only $5.99 for the set. And they are durable stainless steel construction. One has a turner. And the other one is just a regular tong. So I'm looking forward to, to use those. And of course, does it say where they're made? The dishwasher safe. Um, made in China, of course. Yes. Yeah, I like those. And I got this tray from it was $12.99 or something. Yeah, $12.99. If you can read upside down. <laughs> Let me fix it and then we can see it better. And it was made in India as well. Handmade. I like this uh, design here. I think that's pretty. And um, then I had this other one. Is EPA uh, TSCA Title W compliant? I saw a tag somewhere that says it was from made in Vietnam. I really like that mosaic design. I think that's really pretty. Yeah, but it says Vietnam. Um, Fascinating history and culture, as well as breathtaking natural scenery. Vietnam offers a, a wealth of inspiration. Bring the beauty of this uh, country to your home with a product that has been uniquely crafted by Vietnamese artisans. That's really pretty. I, I love it. It's a cute serving tray. Very pretty serving tray. And the last item is these uh, stackable mugs that I have bought from Target. And from the dollar spot, they were $5 a stack. And I think that's so cute. Tiny little coffee cups. My husband likes to use tiny cups when he drinks coffee with his friends. So I bought a couple of stacks because they're cute and white ceramic and white ceramic goes with my kitchen and they're only $5 a stack and they have these cute little wire uh, racks just to hold the stack. And I thought that was really, really a really nice find in the dollar spot at Target. Everything else I got was for the kids, and they have opened it and used it and played with it and worn it. <laughs> um, and I got this for my husband. My mom made homemade rolls for us to bring home with us. Um, these are the best rolls. My kids are always talking about grandma's rolls. <laughs> homemade rolls. She was making a lot for people, neighbors and friends for Christmas. And she made us some, too. She gave us three bags, but we've already eaten well, most of one bag. And these are the other two bags that we have. Here are the sweet potatoes. 
one of my siblings grew these on their farm and my mom shared with us uh, because she had so many. My mom also grew this big long squash. You know, somebody in the, in the community grew them. They had a lot extra, so uh, she gave us one to bring home. They're delicious. She made one for lunch one day and it's really, really good. She roasted, she cut it up, peeled it and roasted it. It was real good. <clears throat> My mom also gave us a box of corn that she canned at home that, that was grown on somebody's farm. Can't wait to eat some for lunch today. My mom also gave me that stool. She put that, she made a new cover for it and she gave it to me to sit on when I'm cooking or washing dishes because she knows I have trouble with my back. <laughs> she got two stools somewhere and she gave me one. So that was very sweet of her. And my mom made this cover for this chair because uh, it has a rip in the original upholstery. So she made a cover that matched the stool. And even, it even kind of matches the original cover uh, on, on the other chairs, so. It's pretty and nice. <laughs> I like it because the, the, um, there's a rip in the original and this one is covering it. And it's nice and it's removable. I can wash it and put it back on. This is some coconut milk soap that my sister Annie made. She made homemade soap. She put some um, essential oils in it. She said this is better for washing hands, um, for hand soap. But it's made with coconut oil, so it's really good for your skin. And I thought that was a fun uh, thing to, to make and try. She said she wants to make some <clears throat> with different essential oils for body wash, to wash bodies, but this one is for hand soap. It has something in it that has natural antibacterial product properties for washing hands. <laughs> 